Hello, Math 7 students. Let's begin our math session with a prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your love and care. Thank you for the blessing of life. Please be with us as we look at our math lesson today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Well, I want to look a little bit further and deeper into solving two-step equations. So let me go ahead and pause my video and start sharing my screen. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I just wanted to remind you of a couple of things. First of all, your Christ-centered learning goal, compassion. And you certainly are showing compassion for myself, as well as your families, other students, everything, everyone, just as God would want us to. And then thank you also for showing initiative by coming to watch the videos each time, come to the Q&As, turning in your work, working with your family. Wonderful. Two thumbs up. Then I also want to remind you of some of the skills you need to use in order to successfully complete this skill. Follow all integer and decimal rules. See how that's at the top? Make sure you do that. Number two, I keep wanting to show this, but here it is again, a two-step equation. It's parts. So make sure you have this written down, if not in this lesson, in a previous lesson. Know what each part is and what does it mean for it to be the named part that it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> And then I introduced in the last lesson, I will just say it up front right here. And in order to solve a two-step two equation successfully, here are the rules. Complete the opposite operations in reverse order. You should be writing this down in your notes. It will be very helpful for you. Complete the opposite operations in reverse order. And I will address that as we go through each of the problems in our lesson today. Okay. Pause just for a moment. Okay. There is something new that I want to show you, and that's actually starting with a word problem. I have it listed in bits here because I want to talk about it in bits. It's in small chunks. Okay? So here we go. A company charges $2 per balloon to go into a balloon arrangement. Kind of like a flower arrangement, but it's balloons. They charge $2 for each balloon and $3 for the delivery fee. If a person comes up and has $9 to spend, how many balloons can they buy? How many balloons can they buy? So the total cost would be the amount that they had to spend. That's $9. And then in this middle bar right here, I've broken it up. As you see already, I've assigned this to be balloons and then this to be the fee, the cost of the balloons. This is the cost of the balloons and this is the cost of the fee. Well, we already know the fee. It's a flat $3. What we don't know is how many balloons can they buy. So I'm going to use the variable. Remember, variables are unknown. I'm going to use the variable x to state how many balloons can they buy or the number of balloons they will buy. How much does it cost for each balloon? $2. So I'm going to say $2 times, I don't know how many balloons, 2 times some unknown. Okay, that's truly what the variable x is representing. I don't know. It's our unknown. Okay, if you notice with this bar method here, the length of each of these bars is exactly the same. So I can set up an equation right here, 2x plus 3, that's one quantity. So this represents a quantity. 
equals, and I've got another quantity, another bar here, goes from here to here. That's my other quantity. Remember the essential question for this chapter? What does it mean to say that two quantities are equal? And so now we're going to take this two-step equation and solve it by completing the opposite operations in reverse order. Reverse, 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 reverse. And when I say reverse order, I'm giving a nod to, or I'm referring to the order of operations. So it says, uh, order of operations says M D A S. I'm looking at the tail end of it, okay? So uh, if you look at, if this means add and subtract from left to right, this means multiply and divide from left to right. Hmm, do we have anything being added or subtracted? We sure do, we have a three being added. So what's the opposite of add three? Subtract three to each side. Three plus three minus three combined is zero. Then I copy the two X equals, perform this operation, nine minus three is six. Now in reverse order, we're almost done. It's saying two times six. The opposite of multiplication times is divide each side by two. Two over two is one. One times x is x. Six divided by two is three. Now we go back up to our information here. We, we're seeing oh, x is the number of balloons that we can buy. Oh, we can buy three balloons. And we have a solution. Now you can go back and check it. Two times three is six plus three. Does that equal nine? Yes, it does. Very good. Okay, a couple more problems. Here's this one right here. <coughs> We're gonna do the opposite operation in reverse order. Okay. Let's see what's being done to this variable. It's being multiplied by negative 8 and then added by 1. Multiplied by negative 8 and added by 1. So I'm going to go in reverse order. I'm going to subtract 1 from each side. This cancels. Copy the negative 8s equals 32. Now I'm going to divide each side by negative 8. S equals 32 divided by negative 8 is a negative 4. If you were to plug this back in right here, substituting, you find out that this negative 8 plus negative 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33. You have a correct solution. Very good. Pause the video and try this one. Okay, now let's try it. What's being done to W? It's being multiplied by negative 4 and subtracted by 4. We're going to do the opposite operation in reverse order. So instead of subtract 4, we're going to add 4 to each side. These are opposites, so they cancel to zero. Copy the negative 4w equals 8 plus 4 is 12. Now we're going to divide. Instead of multiply by negative 4, we're going to divide each side by negative 4. Negative 4 over negative 4 is 1. 1 times w is w. 12 divided by negative 4 is a negative 3. Let's try it out. Negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. Positive 12 minus 4, yes, is 8. So we have a correct solution. I'll stop sharing my screen. I want to thank you for being here today. I hope that this has been beneficial for you. Know that you are loved. God made you. And remember to take it one moment at a time. Blessings. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye now.